What up, Frazier? <laughs> Rockin' them John Pauls. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Dude, Whatever. We got, one of, we got one of those fucking We Might Get In Trouble episodes today, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah. Nah. It's cool, man. Nah. Why don't you shout out some days I'm today? Cool. I'm cool with it, man. What's the date, Frazier? Today is the... The 14th. 14th. October 14th. Check, check, check. Oh, yeah, that sounds good, man. What's good? Give you shout outs. Yeah, shout outs uh, for this week. So, excuse me. I want to send a shout out to uh, Mr. MC Gusto, Stab Master Arson, Dead Mike. It's my homies from Low Cash. (laughs) (laughs) Real players, dude. (laughs) These are people who checked out the uh, podcast link. It's at uh, Fellas92 Podcast Facebook. Or you can check us out on uh, YouTube channel, Fellas92. Uh, Kevin Patty. Omar Mar- Rodriguez. Patty? <clears throat> yep. Kevin Patty. He's cool, dude. I know that guy, man. Okay. Um, Matthew Pratton. Old school golf guy, man. Uh, used to be freshman football coach. Uh, ran Matt's bicycles here in golf. And he's running for Galt School Board. That's my uh, seal of approval. <laughs> uh, we got uh, Norma Rodriguez, <laughs> Amy Henley, uh, Jamie Ortega, Sherry K. Harrison, Bill Delamine, and then uh, Weller's going to throw out our uh, our first sponsor we got going. Oh, yeah, Ace Hardware. So the weather brought to you by Ace Hardware. Today is 63 degrees in Galt. Um, it will be a high of uh, 81, I believe. Uh, 82 today at 4 o'clock. That's Sunny and clear. That's money. Our f- first uh, sponsorship, Ace Hardware. Yeah. Ace is the place for the helpful hardware, man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we got that. So we got some, uh, we're going to go all over the board on topics today, man. But uh, <laughs> well, you want to start out with the big one or do you want to work our way into that, dude? No, let's talk about scary movies. All right. <laughs> 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 Check out scary movies. They got a big one. So uh, we were talking about scary movies and shit, and I seen one last night. And I don't know if you guys got the Netflix or not, but check it out. It's uh, oh uh, man, the blacksmith and the devil, and it's got a weird name like Air Hammer or, or, or something like that. But you feature some German show, huh? Man, I want to say it's like maybe Italian or something, mm. but it's a. Uh, Fucking old school story. Once you get into the storyline, you'll kind of remember like, ah, oh, I remember this story. And then they don't use any CGI shit, which I fucking dig, man. It's fucking old old school masks. Like, you remember old school Star Wars? They use masks. Right, There's no right, CGI right. models right. and shit like that. And they, I, That's what I dig about that movie. But uh, the little devil demon guy in there, that's fucking awesome, man. And um, that kind of plays into the other movies we were going to talk about and shit, man, was... Uh, the real scary movies that fucking scare the shit out of me are the ones about demons and the devil or, like, exorcism or... Uh, possession. Possession, that kind Soul of shit. Soul possession, yeah, that shit. Or even watching... I, I was telling... It's crazy that the documentaries on murders, like, real-life murders and shit. I don't know. That shit freaks me out, dude. Because that shit's real. Yeah. That's what's scary is the shit that's real. You know, we watched that documentary on uh, uh, possession. And I think it was a cardinal. It was in Rome, and he was going around, and he was trying to fucking... Um, release these spirits from these people and these people are speaking languages that they don't normally speak or they don't know when they're they awake. call it tongues they're speaking in tongues well no not speaking in tongues that's different i see speaking in tongues all the time when i go to my, my church but uh I was like, <laughs> Dude, no I, i'm i know but uh like uh i was telling you that story these more missionary guys are in africa and they're talking to tribesmen and they were uh the tribesmen were like the what's that song by toto I bless the rays down, down in Africa. Africa. That's <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so they're talking to this dude, and uh, the tribal people are telling him, "Yeah, this guy's possessed. He's got a demon in him." Yada yada. So the Mormons start throwing prayers at him and stuff, and dude starts perfectly as can be. He starts speaking French and shit, but they consider it speaking in tongues, even though he's speaking in lang- uh, language he didn't he didn't know. 
he fucking the demon or whatever in him could speak French fluently, dude. Like telling him, you know, suck my dick, fucking your God sucking my dick in heaven, or you know, whatever's going on with that. But that does, man. Uh, those kind of movies scare shit out of me, man. Especially if you're home alone. Dude, that's when I get scared the most. Yeah. I mean, I'm 44. I still fucking get scared. Yeah. Dude. Don't you hear fucking noises in other rooms? You're like, I, and, and every, no one will admit to it, but they know. They fucking hear other shit in other rooms, dude. Yeah. Unless you're psychotic. Fuck. I blame it on the dogs. I'm just like, oh, it's the fucking dogs, you know. No, I blame it on the spirits. Yeah. <laughs> well, that one movie uh, I was telling you about was my... It's called Shadow People. It's kind of a fucking old B-rated movie. I want to say it's maybe 10 years old or so. But we watched it, and my fucking old lady got so scared, man. Navy Grisorf. Yes, Navy Grisorf. <laughs> Kevin Frazier backwards. But she got fucking so scared, <laughs> she put the light by the bed. We had, like, a lamp in the living room. She pulled it over by the bed and set it there. And for two nights in a row, dude, she was super scared about it, man. Cause, uh, what about when you used to play those records backwards? That's what I was, maybe, uh, Like Black Sabbath. Oh, and stuff. yeah. Say, hey, play it backwards, man. Play sticks backwards. Yeah, like Paul is the walrus. <laughs> Paul is the walrus. <laughs> And you'd think you would hear some shit, too, and it wouldn't really be. It was like, the devil is behind you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the devil shit scares you, though, man. I mean, uh, it's different, though, because we, we were raised knowing about the devil and spirits and shit like that to scare us. And I think a lot of churches use that side of shit to scare you into uh, your faith. You know what I mean? It's part of it. Well, like, I've never impressed. Uh, I did my older kids. We went to church and did that kind of stuff. But with my uh, younger set of kids, we never went to church or I never pushed religion on them. Uh, I do do prayer and I ask them to believe in a God, you know, or something bigger than themselves because that's real. But since they don't have that fucking um, fear of the devil or demons, th those shows aren't scary to them, man. You know, we're like a fucking Freddy Krueger is scary to them. It's kind of scary. It kind of scared me when I was a kid. I was afraid to dream. Don't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep, man. Don't fall asleep. Yeah, there's one on uh, the Netflix, too. It's called uh, Nightmare. I was telling you about it. It's that fucking um, sleep paralyzed where you're, sleep, you're sleeping and you get par I've had that. paralyzed. I've had yeah, that. Yeah, I know, man. You got a good story on that shit, too. Well, look, yeah, I fucking, uh, when my mom and her husband were sleeping one night and I was a young kid and fucking I heard screaming come from the other room I mean it was like fucking screeching and it, it sounded like my mom and I went in there and it was her husband and he was sleepwalking but he was screaming and he literally grabbed the TV off the tall nightstand and threw it fucking punching holes in the walls pulling the blinds off the walls just fucking we're just standing there watching him and then he goes back and lays down goes to sleep and then you know we wake him up and he's like telling him what fuck, it's like what the fuck happened he's like in my dreams there's a spirit chasing me in the room and he was in the room, but he didn't see anybody but the spirit chasing him. He was just trying to get away. And he felt it was a dream. That's crazy. And then I was He was like, like living out his dream. He was living out his dream. And then so I was so fucking scared. I fucking slept in the bed right next to my mom. And I was probably, what, 12 at the time. And fucking uh, I wake up that same night. And my eyes are open, but I can't breathe. I can't move. I can see everything. But I'm just like fucking frozen in time. And there's, I can't scream. I can't fucking do nothing. And I'm like wedged in the bed. It feels like I can't breathe. And eventually I wake up. But it was like fucking like an evil spirit that just went through the fucking room and just fucking devastated us. It was crazy, Fucked dude. Fucked with all you guys, dude. It was crazy. Or no. it could just been a nightmare. I don't know. No, that, that's what that movie The Nightmare is about. It's like a documentary type movie. And those are my favorites, man, because they use real people and it's real fucking shit that went down. Mm-hmm. But they got like eight people from around the world that all have this uh, sleep paralysis. Like when you wake up, you can't m move or you can't breathe and shit's still happening. Your eyes your eyes can move. You can see shit happening. Yeah. Like shadows or demons and shit moving around. Or Ray trying to put his hand underneath the blanket and touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ray, dude. <laughs> but it, it, that piggybacks off that shadow people movie, dude. Um in the Shadow People movie, they got a tall man, a thin man with a hat. They got like a set of twins that come. Um, there's like this little girl. They got people basically see these three different entities, and they all live around different parts of the world. They've never met each other, but they all have the same stories about shit that's happening when they're fucking paralyzed, dude. Mm. Mm. 
You can't move. You can't do nothing. So it's fucking scary as no, fuck. No, yeah. Yeah, I've had that before. I felt that. And then, uh, you know, the medical side of it, the scientists, they're like, uh, there's this part between when your body goes to sleep and when right. it, it's awake. And uh, there's just this little area. And sometimes we get stuck there. Mm-hmm. I believe it. And that's what they're saying ha- that's happening. I believe that's that. true, too. Yeah, I do, too. I believe that's part of it. Like You're when, halfway awake, but you're still asleep. and Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or like when you're sleeping and you're like fucking, oh, you felt like you wake up, but you're still in another dream. Oh, I've had that. Like a like dream two or three times in a, like, and then thought you wake up again and you're fucking moving around. Then you're like, I hope this is, you know, this is real life. And then all of a sudden some fucking shit happens. You're like, God, this got to be a dream. Yeah, like yeah, that, that movie Inception. Leonardo DiCaprio where they do a dream oh, inside of a dream yep. inside of a, yeah, yeah, that kind yeah. of shit man yeah that's scary shit oh fuck yeah man you know I have those ones that scare me are the alien dreams and shit dude when I have those in, or like uh, the kind of dreams your brother probably loves where there's like ap- apocalyptic shit happening outside and I feel like I gotta save my family you know zombies or whatever it is but it seems so fucking real yeah or what, what usually I figure out is like I'm in a dream I'm in my house and I know it's my house and shit but then all of a sudden my house has two stories and I'm like what the fuck my house don't have two stories and that's when you realize you're in a dream because you're like fuck oh, there's stairs yeah I've house. had a dream where Flory just fucking I mean just in his underwear just fucking just just grinding on me wrestling yeah and but I woke up and it wasn't a dream he was really it fucking, was happening it was dude. happening that you know? kind of shit happens man fucking he's man. got me fucked up man Dude, you know, there. That's another one, dude. We can go on. Is that? Uh, <laughs> you imagine if the police came to his house because I made a formal report? <laughs> yeah, well, he's in trouble now, dude. He's in trouble now. I mean, you basically you just gave more evidence than Ballsy Ford had the whole time, dude. <laughs> uh, that'd just, be crazy. What? Yeah. You know, you have a friend named David Weller. You know, he uh, <laughs> made a formal complaint of when he was about fucking twelve years old. You uh, yeah. <laughs> accosted him. He's got the age. He's got the place. He's got the date. <laughs> That's fucking crazy, dude. But yeah, so uh, staying on the fucking scary movie shit, man. So what are some scary movies that fucking get you, man? Exorcist, Poltergeist, dude. Yeah. Like one of the Poltergeist, I forget it was, when that old man was walking by the Number house. Number two, yeah. Was it two? And he was like singing a song. God is in that was scary, his dude. holy temple. God, God is oh. in. You know what? I don't know why this I think of this right now. Place. Yeah, that's scary shit, dude. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> I dreamt before. This is a true story. This was crazy. <laughs> Fucking, I dreamt before that I seen this guy. This guy I'd never seen before. I seen his face. I could see it clearly who it was. And then, so, that was just a dream. Fucking weeks later, we go camp into Alpine, right? And then we go down to the store to get something. Yeah. And the guy is in the store. That was a true story. That was I remember to this, to this you know how what what why I think it's it's so real because to this day I remember it. Like you don't remember all the little shit when you're a kid, but that still sticks in my head. Like I still remember the guy's face. Premonition, dude. Seeing him at the store. You know, then I was scared to sleep at night. That's a precognitive uh you had a memory before it happened, dude. It's so do you do you think you live do you think you you've already lived this life? Uh, and it just repeats? Ooh. I don't know about that, man. Uh, what happens if you die? You, know, you uh, start all over. You want to hear some crazy shit? Yeah. You know, I think outside oh, I the, always want to hear I crazy think, shit. I think outside the That's box. That's why I talked to you. I know. I think outside <laughs> the box on shit, right? But I came up with this one. I was talking to DG. We were fishing, man. And I was like, uh, so everybody expect Jesus is coming back. All the Christians think Christ is coming back, right? The okay. second coming of Christ. So in my crazy mind about shit, I'm thinking Christ returns this time. It's a woman. I don't know. Dude, you see you see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it would be befitting for God if God came and lived here as a man for God to come back the second time and live as a woman and perform these miracles and do all the shit that's supposed to go down. Yeah, I don't know. I, that's the first time I've ever heard that. Yeah, think about it, man. I mean, it fucking, it's a great story. Somebody <laughs> somebody needs to fucking make that. great story. <laughs> make that fucking movie, dude. Come on. Um, I think, because I think that's what American Horror is going with this year. Because they kind of got the apocalypse, the devil, and I think the girl in it's going to be like good, like God-ish or angel or something. I don't know. But it got me thinking, dude, it would be fucking awesome if when Jesus came back this time, he was a, uh, a lady. 
Especially it fits with all the transgender shit going on now too. So <laughs> what? What? Anyways, <laughs> anyways, before you get attacked at night, well, somebody's gonna come after me. It's fucking. Is that sacrilegious to think that way? Uh, that's all you, dude. That's not me. I don't think about that. I don't know about that. That's you, bro. Dude, I'll tell you another one. This one scared the shit out of me when I was little. Was The Shining? Oh, yep. You know where the little boy's like, Red Rum. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's good shit. Red Rum. And then the the cook, the old black dude, was like, Hey, man, I got the same shit you got. You see stuff, you know, and he's kind of relaying to him like they're on the same level of shit. And then that's scary, too, because, like you're saying with the murderers and all that, you got fucking people that just snap and they lose it, right? Just like Jack did in The Shining. Mm -hmm. He fucking lost it, man, and he went, started trying to kill his family and shit, man. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Dude, don't. I've had dreams about that picture right there. I've had fucking dreams about that picture, dude. Come on. Uh, I text his number, and you're like, don't do it, Moon. It's a trap. It's a trap. Dude. Abort. Abort. Come on, man. I mean, like, if you see a beehive, you don't go fucking hit the beehive with the bat, dude. You don't do that shit. <laughs> There's a price to be paid for that kind of shit, dude. Weller, that's fucking stupid, bro. <laughs> dude. It's like my dad got mad at me one time we were drinking in the garage playing pool and shit, and a fucking bottle of Jack fell on the ground and fucking was all busted up. My pug and my Jack Russell come over and they fucking lick up all the liquor, and my dad's yelling, cussing at me like I'm getting the dogs drunk. Mm -hmm. And he's like, it's Kevin. That's like giving a retard a bottle of wine or something and let him get drunk. You don't do that shit. <laughs> There's just some shit you don't do, dude, and that's one of them. You don't fucking do that shit, Weller. Come on, man. Dude, there's nothing that could happen, dude. I listen to prank phone calls all the time, and fucking, they go beyond what I'm talking about. Like, people are like, fucking, I will fucking kill you. I, will, I mean, just nut shit. And I'm calling the police right now, and they're like, call the police. We don't care. There's nothing you can do. So there's nothing he can do, dude, yeah. other than show up at your house and kill you. I yeah. mean, other than that, there's the police. Until it fucking, happens. Police ain't going to fucking care about what's going on with this guy, dude. Somebody calling and showing Penis. <laughs> Lord, get <laughs> crazy shit, bro. I want you inside of me. <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh, shit. We're getting lost on that. I'll yeah, yeah, some, yeah. Uh, some more movies. Uh, the old Halloweens, uh, they didn't really scare me. Michael Myers didn't scare me. Jason, that kind of shit didn't scare me, man. Freddy Krueger did because that was a sleeping thing. But, uh,. The new Z Rob Zombie Halloweens are the better of the Halloweens. Have you seen those ones? No, I may maybe, maybe I've seen them. We're like a lot of movies. Where Michael Myers is like seven foot tall, he's like a little kid, and he starts killing animals, and then he like. Uh, no, maybe not. That, yeah, the new Michael Myers are better than the zombie ones, and I don't know, like the Ten Thousand Corpses or fucking Hills Have Eyes. That kind of shit. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is kind of scary because you know there's fucking weirdo freak people out there like that, dude. You know what's scary is when your old lady's on her period. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. You gonna roll into it like that? Nah, 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 nah. Come on, dude. No. All no. Right. <laughs> All right, so let's close out scary movies then because we're going to fucking... We're going to bromance the stone on this one, dude. It's fucking... Uh... A topic that affects all of us, man. <laughs> it's a mental illness. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you are trying to you are trying to get stabbed, well <laughs> Oh, you're tripping. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't agree with what you're, okay, you're trying so, to do. <laughs> so here's what happens, man. Uh, all you guys know it. We're guys, so we know it. Our old ladies don't know it, but uh, women talk to their girlfriends about shit all the time. Or like my old lady will say... You're not listening to me. You don't understand or, you know, she's like, I can't talk to you about this. So she talks to her girlfriends about shit. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the same way with guys. Guys do the same shit. I don't care if you've got a girlfriend or you're married or you got a fiance or whatever. Or even uh, like I have relationships with exes, you know, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> where you gotta, you have to talk to him. You oh, have to yeah, communi yeah, yeah. Cu communicate with him. I thought you were talking about like exes, high school girlfriend exes. Oh fuck no, dude! <laughs> like, what are you talking about, dude? Dude, I, I think I'm pretty much friends with all my exes. I don't think that I have one ex that's like fucking. I hate that fucking bitch. You know, I don't. I'm not like that. But, um, so we were talking about uh, 
I got to spend some bromance and time with one of my brothers yesterday. We rode in the car for two hours to go fishing. We came back for two hours going fishing. And we got to talk a lot about get shit off your chest, bro to bro shit kind of stuff, man. Mm-hmm. But you know as well as I do, man, uh, women are a different beast. They're a different animal, dude. I don't know that. <laughs> yeah. See, see where you're going. I see where you're going. With it. I'm not. I'm not afraid, brother. I got scared straight. I started thinking of like, <laughs> no, that's stupid. This is just, this is just what you were talking about. Dude. What, what you couldn't talk about. So me, me and Weller were bromancing the stone when we were going through show prep and all that kind of shit, and we're talking about uh, our women, man, and. Uh, I think the big deal is with the women is communication. That's where most of the problems happen is with communication. People might say money or sex or spending quality time together. It's communication. I think it's 100% communication. I always show Sarah all the time. I'm like fucking – I always – when I have an issue, we have a problem, we have an argument, whatever, I always try to deal with it right then. I don't try to like, well, I don't want to talk right now. I want to deal with it because – this is what I learned. Problems don't go away. They're always there. So yes. you can not talk about it, let a day go by, and maybe you think you forget about it, but you're, it's still in everybody's head. So it just adds up. So all that shit builds up over time. So I'm always like, I got to deal with whatever it is at that moment. Like, I'm relentless. I'm like, no, let's talk about it. Nope, nope, let's talk about it. Nope, nope. Let's, we got to work it out now and move on because I want to move on from it because I don't want to sit and dwell on it all the fucking time. But, you know, like an old guy told me, you know, guys die a little bit every day. Yeah, man. I mean, the, um, I think women go into the relationship thinking, you know what? This is a good guy. I like him. Fucking, we get along. Um, we could probably have a good life together. If but, I could, if but, I could just tweak him, if, if I can just turn him into the man I if want, if I him could to just be. tweak him a little bit, yes. <laughs> You know, his jokes are a little too harsh or crash or his sarcasm is a little over the top. Uh-huh. But if I can tone it down just a little bit and get him to sit in the corner over there <laughs> and listen to what I got to do, you know, so they, they got that piece of it. But here's the other thing with women, man, like uh, when I have a problem or an issue like you, I try to resolve it. And a lot of times I take the high road and I'll say, I'm, I'm wrong. You're right, babe. You're right. You know. Because I don't want to fight about it. I don't want to, if it's happening on a Friday, like we just had this happen Friday. We, we planned all week we're going to go fucking f- fishing, right? Go camping. So Friday morning, wake up. We wait, both wake up at 5 o'clock. I'm like, all right, cool. We're going to get done. We'll, uh, at, we'll be out of Galt by like 3 o'clock, headed up camping. Well, 5 o'clock Friday morning rolls around. She's like, I want to sleep a little longer. And I'm like, oh, fuck, here it is. This is where it's going to start. I already see where the battle or the issue is going to start. So I was like, all right, whatever. And I said, if you're going to go to work later, because if she says she's going to sleep for half an hour, she's going to sleep another hour is what it's going to be. So I already know I'm going fishing by myself. I know she's not going to go now. But when she comes home later in the day, she comes home and she's like, how come you don't have the vehicle packed? How come we're not ready to leave right now? And I'm like... (laughs) I'm like, are you kidding me? We, we <laughs> talked about this this morning. I'm going to go fishing tonight by myself. She's all, yeah, but I was really thinking like you would be thoughtful and you would <laughs> you would have packed everything up and been ready to go when I got home. And that's where our so, communication problem if is. If you would have right been there. a better man. Yeah, if I would have just read her mind. <laughs> if I could just be a mind reader and know what she was wanting me to do. <laughs> It would have been better off, man. But I, it, it didn't stop there, bro. So. <laughs> He's like, I got more. He's like, yeah. oh, I got way more, bro. No, it didn't stop there, dude. So I'm like, uh, you know, I haven't ate dinner. I was thinking we would go have dinner, you know, and she's like, I'm not hungry. I'm like, well, I'm hungry. I don't want to get something to eat. All right, I'll go to dinner with you. Where do you want to go? He said, I am. Yeah. So I'm like, well, let's go to Bull Wings. No, I don't like Bull Wings. Let's go to Hoonan House. No, I don't want to go to Hoonan House. Let's order some food in. No, I don't want to order some food in. I said, fuck it. I'm going to Bull Wings then. I'm going to have some Bull Wings, watch the Dodgers, drink a couple beers, you know. All right, we'll go. So on the way, we're starting to go to Bull Wings. She's like, no, let's just go to Hoonan House. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? We just <laughs> fucking... We just fucking went through all this shit. And now she's flipping the, she's flipping the switch on me again, dude. So... In order to make her happy, I'm like, okay, we go to Hoonan House and do that kind of shit, you know. But it's a, always a constant little mind game battle, this and that, you know. What's worse is what we were talking about, fighting on a Friday. 
<laughs> Fuck <laughs> yeah. Right after work. That's the whole weekend, dude. Yeah, because your whole weekend's fucked. <laughs> yeah. And then if you don't make up by Sunday night and get some get naked and have some makeup sex <laughs> and stuff, dude, then your whole week's fucked. Oh, dude, I'm fucking. We're, we're, we're driving to go get something to eat. I'm looking down at my phone. She hits the brakes and swerves in the freeway. Okay, whatever happened happened. I you didn't see it. Even. I didn't see it. What it happened happened. I grab onto the side of the door and she starts yelling at me. Sorry. Well, the problem is, you, I'm like, why are you mad at me? What did you do wrong, Willa? So that's it. The weekend's ruined, dude. You already know it. <laughs> yeah, but placate it, play it out, dude. What what happens out? What what are the telltale signs, or how do you know that the, the it's the trigger's been pulled, dude? You know what I mean? Because you feel it, you know. Oh yeah. You you sense it. Dude. So then you try to make up some bullshit conversation. Um, well, how was work? How yeah. was work? Fine. Oh, yeah. you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah. fuck it. She don't want to talk about work. You know you're in trouble, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. Dude. There's some scabs that you don't want to pick, dude. You know what I mean? You can't do that. But <laughs> Girls have their girl things they want to talk about. Guys have our guy things, too, man. And fucking, we, we never really get it out. But you're right. Communicate and even get it out. Even be able to vent about it a little bit. We'll fucking not bottle it up where you're fucking. Because if we don't talk about it, like you don't, you get you get stew on it. You get pissed, right? If yeah. you're not talking about it and joking around with your friends about it and making fun of it, by the time you get home from whatever you're bullshitting with your friends, whatever you like, more relaxed. You're like, fuck it, you know, move on from it. But if you don't talk about it, you stew on it and you get pissed and you're more irritated. And then you're like fucking overthinking shit and you're like, fuck this. And then you say, I'm fucking tired of apologizing all the time for no reason because I don't want to fight, right? Yeah. Then you're pissed. Then you're like, ah, fuck it. I'll just stay pissed. Then you fucking, at some point, you realize, fuck, she can stay pissed for years, man. I can't. Yeah. (laughs) I got to apologize right now. Well, I think that's part of personality, though, man, because if there gets to a point where you're like, fuck it. All right, we're going to have a fight. We're going to battle. We're going to fucking get into it, whatever. Mm -hmm. You just had enough or you're fed up with it and you're like, all right, I'm winning this one. I don't care what the argument's about. No, you're not. I'm winning this no, one. No, you're yeah. not, bro. You are not going to win. That's what I'm telling you, man. That's, that's the only way you can get back at them is you start holding clock back. <laughs> I'm like, go play DJ. Break out the toys. Do your thing because fucking I'm good over here. Long term, you're not going to win, bro. <laughs> yeah. Every man goes through it, man. You know, nobody has a perfect relationship, regardless of what you see when you go out with your friends or fucking how, what you see on Facebook and that kind of shit. Yeah, uh, I, I listen to the these guys who say it all the time. I'm sure it's probably been said somewhere else, but now with social media, dude, you're 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 living your real life to everybody else's highlight reel, right? Yeah. Because people put up the the best picture of themselves. They put it up, they you know, and I I do it too. Fuck, I, I mean, I, pictures. I don't do selfies, but I mean the. Uh, your kids, the fucking accomplishments and shit. You're, you're putting out your highlight reel, right? You're not putting out that your fucking kid fucked up like a dumbass and did this. Or you're not putting up, you know, stupid shit. You're putting up your highlight reel and then that person's living their real life. And everybody does it to everybody, you know. Yeah. You're living your real life and you're like, fuck. But nobody got to figure it out, dude. I mean, if they do, then some. They've got closet skeletons, dude, because nobody has it all figured out or living their fucking perfect life. They're living their best life, not their perfect life. I'm living my best life. I'm living my best life. Yeah. <laughs> Smile, bitch. <laughs> Dude, I, I think uh haven't been divorced. I've been divorced twice, you know. I've been to that point where I'm like, fuck it. Let's do this. Let's blow this bitch up, you know. <laughs> I think, you're, but not now. Huh? You're like, like now you're fucking got it kind of dialed in where you're like, dude, this is what it's all about. Well, because uh, being the age difference between me and my wife, luckily she, her brothers were my age, you know. Mm-hmm. So uh, her music interests, the fucking things that she finds it, um, fun or recreational, we were very similar, even though we have different uh, age group. But mentally and relationship wise. I was married 12 years before I met her. So I had already known the marriage game, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. She was married for like two years, and they lived at her parents' house, you know? And they they had a different uh, construction of their marriage. But me and, when me and Michelle got divorced the first time, it was just purely fucking over-communication, uh, her having... Uh, 
what's it called uh like you know I- issues with stuff that i i think's normal or i do i'll give you an example I get on the Facebook. I'm not a str- hardcore Facebook guy, but I do get on there and check shit out. And when I look at stuff, I say, yeah, I like that. I like that. Put a comment in here, you know, mm-hmm. using some political bullshit or something. And I but like. But there's really not no ulterior motive other than just fucking. No. Other than, uh, yeah, I'm just looking, just looking at shit. And, you know, uh, find funny jokes or shit like that or fucking, uh, you know, the whole Colin Ka- Kaepernick kneeling shit or. There's all kinds of memes. There's yeah. a bunch of memes on there. But uh, she hit me up about something. Uh, I liked some girl's picture. You know, it's one of our one of our mutual friends' sister's picture. Some kid we grew I consider her a kid. She's like four or five years younger than us. So I consider her a kid, you know. Okay. But I just liked her picture. That's all I did was like, okay, I like it, you know. I don't know the backstory. I don't have any ulterior motive or anything. Just like the picture. And if you look at it, there's like... 120 people like the picture or whatever and it's it'd tell you like uh david weller like this picture or you know chris woodmore like this picture yeah, right 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 that kind of shit so i'm thinking nothing of it i'll fucking go about my day at work she calls me and she's like why did you like her picture and i'm like what are you talking about oh you like this girl's picture on facebook that means you're trying to get at her and i'm like oh my <laughs> god dude are you okay let's think let's i tell her let's just think this through I'm trying to get it. So I'm married. We've been married for, I mean, together on and off 13 years now. All of a sudden, I'm going to switch my whole motive in life and start trying to pick up on chicks on Facebook where everybody else can see it. <laughs> this is my motive now. I'm, right, tra- I'm trying I, to get a some I girl. think it's psychologically, if I don't know the people, I would say it would, it's more about them than you. Yeah, but this is my more wife. About the- this is my wife I'm talking about, man. I know. I mean, it's just more about them. It's just than you. It's insecurity. Yeah, and, stuff and like that's that. the insecurity of uh, her seeing some other pretty girl. And, and <laughs> We're me. sitting here giving advice. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. No, I'm, I'm not giving advice. I'm telling you what happens to me and then how I deal with it. So right, I, I, right. Just roll, I just roll with it. Right. And I'm like, look, babe, uh, I got, you know, I love you. I don't know how else to tell you I love you, you know. All the upgrades we've made in I our do marriage. Love you. I love do, you. I love do, you. Do, do, do. I got one. I've just been itching. It's been in my chest, dude. I Give gotta it. fucking get it out, dude. Give it up before you forget it. I'm the king of rock. rock there rock, is rock, none rock. higher. You higher, suck higher, MCs higher. should call me sire. sire, sire to sire, rock sire. my kingdom, you must use fire. Fire, fire, fire. That's what I was <laughs> I watched CB4 last night, so I was fucking high, dude. That movie's hella funny, too, but... What, you ain't got nothing else? You're not trying to fucking stick your neck out on this one, dude? No, I think it's just fucking... Just... It's just, uh... uh oh, fuck, what they say? But it's just women and men. It's just two different... Two different uh, species, dude. I think it's two different species. And, and not to say one's right or one's wrong. But there's just two different species. And the two way of looking at things. They say a lot of uh, males use common sense and non-emotion. And women use emotion. Emotion, women are yeah. emotional. Yeah, fingers, and yeah. I mean... At the end of the day, I mean, if you're lucky to find somebody that you fucking have that much companionship with and stuff, you know, I think there always has to be, there has to be one person, to make it work, there has to be one person in the relationship that's going to break, that's going to give in most of the time. Because if you have two stubborn people that ain't going to give in, it's just, it's not going to work, dude. I mean, somebody has to give in and just say, you know what, I'm sorry. You, you have to. I'm that person. What, so... I agree with that completely. I do, but here's the swing. I don't think it's got to be eighty twenty. I think if you're going eighty twenty, you've lost who you are, what you're about. You're trying to mold yourself into yeah. becoming this under. Well, other that's what individual. we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. So that swing's got to be there. And I think if you get it's over, not. if you get over fifty fifty, though, that's where you start having real issues, man. You I, know, like here's here's a good one for you. I like old country music. I like Hank Williams Jr. I like Willie Nelson. I like fucking George Strait. Okay. I like Alabama. I like uh, that kind of Johnny Cash, you know, Merle Haggard. I like the old country music. Okay. Now fucking Dixie Chicks or uh, Florida Georgia Line or this the newer country, I don't dig it. Keith Urban, I don't dig it. I mean, but to her, that's country music is that new, sh- the new shit they play on the radio. And okay. to me, it doesn't fucking sound like country music at all, dude. 
So there's a give and take on that that part of it. Where like I'll listen to some of that shit that she listens to, but you got to mix this in. You know what I mean? Because if we we're just rolling rolling on new country, I would be fucked. I would be like I blow, lose my mind. We got that in the fucking TV. We're like that in TV. Like you're talking about music. Like yeah. I'm watching. The same fucking shit over and over. I do watch reruns all the fucking time. And then she'll watch like home improvement stuff or fucking garden shit or fucking what's that other one? Love it or list it. FYI or whatever it is. Fixer when, uppers. When you're doing knitting and shit, different arts and craft shit, that's what she likes to watch. And I, I, can't, I can't fucking stand it. It's like it. those baking shows. I can't stand the fucking baking shows. You're watching people make food. Mm-hmm. Go do it. <laughs> Go make this shit. And then I'll be fucking, I'll be happy. I'll be like, yeah, let's eat some of that shit. <laughs> But you know, you seen the ones with the little kids get up there and start baking and shit, baking challenges and stuff. You got like an eight year old kid I making fucking that. mousse I really souffle shit. and shit. Yeah, no, I don't watch that. Yeah, well, she likes the, and I'm. I think it's good for her because she needs drama. My wife needs drama in her life. She likes to have that drama, and I think <laughs> girls do. They like to talk about like, uh, oh, did you see what she said about this and that, and you know, and this is what they just but they, this but they like on. to say they don't like drama. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> but I would prefer for her to get her drama on TV, okay, rather than have it in my life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I hate this is one thing I hate is getting compared to other couples. So she does it all the time. Well, these people went to London and they're doing this and that. Or these people, look at them. They, they went to Las Vegas this week and this and that. And I'm like, I think that's where they see the fucking perfectness and people. Or you're living, you're watching those highlight reels of people like, oh my gosh, look at them. Look what they're doing. Look at that. But really, they have the same fucking problems you have. They're going through the same fucking shit. Like the grass is never, pro- unless you're getting fucking beat on or some shit, the grass isn't greener on the other side, I don't well, think, dude. Then I have to break it down to her, and when I break it down to her, it's like I'm being an asshole. But I'm like, look it, I know they're forty thousand dollars in credit card debt, all right? Mm-hmm. I know that these people just refinanced their house and took money out, so now they owe fucking you know seven hundred thousand dollars on their house. They have no end in sight of when they're going to pay their house off. That's not part of their game. And plan. when you find out people have issues, and you're like, you know, okay, look. Like, you know, they're having problems like, oh, my gosh, they travel all the time. And then you find out they're getting a divorce or, you know, it's everybody's got issues, dude. I don't think I mean, but I think people, will, like you said, are, are, are competing themselves against people's highlight reels because everything's social media. So you go on there and you see, oh, my gosh, they did this. They do that. Their kids are doing this. Like, where are we fucking lacking? But they got the same problems you got. Well, like, I'll give you a good example. So I tell my wife this kind of shit. And this goes a long way, man. Yesterday. I bought I bought three way of fucking uh, record right album album bought him an album and one of the songs on there I fucking love it and she was like who well, I know what I album know, did you buy him Van Morrison okay all right um and the song is into the mystic she sings brown eyed girl right yeah yeah brown eyed girl uh, moon dance uh, into the mist but so brown eyed girl you are my brown eyed girl. <laughs> Do you remember, remember when, when they used to sing sha la 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 But we're, we're kicking it, and I'm like, uh, you know, Into the Mystic. She's like, I don't know. And I, so I put the song on, hold her, we start dancing. It's just me and her here. So we start dancing this song. It didn't cost any money. That's just some fucking time, and it's real sweet fucking Aww. holding my wife dancing with that me. That was you beautiful, know? dude. The little shit like that. Yeah. I'm like, you think these people do that? Do you think they do that shit? Here's another one. So whenever we drive someplace, I'm usually driving because I I get scared shitless the way she drives. She's always on people's asses. She's always talking about, oh, this, this fucking asshole on the way home. I had to fucking give him the finger, you know, because he didn't know how to merge or this and that. And I'm like, okay, all right, baby. Wow, right. I don't know nothing about that. Yeah. Yeah, dude. So, so when we drive, I reach over and I grab her hand. We still hold hands. We hold hands a lot. I mean, we're 13 years into this bitch, two, two married twice, divorced, still love her enough to fucking hold her hand and do that kind of shit, you know? And I'm like, you ever see these people hold hands? No. Because when we do go out and do shit with the, these other couples and stuff, we hold hands, we still kiss, we still love on each other and all that pu- public affection, all that kind of shit, you know? Mm-hmm. And I make sure to do it in front of our kids. Not only does it grow some out, but it lets our kids know that our relationship is going good. Yes, that's healthy. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They got a video of us. We were out dancing out in the by the pool. We cleaned up the pool in the backyard and that a couple of weeks ago, and uh, 
had the radio going and a slow song came on so we started dancing and shit and they're sitting at the window fucking videotaping us with their iPhone like <laughs> look at her fucking stupid this and, that. and I was like <laughs> Yeah, you guys don't understand, but you'll look at that 20 years from now and you'll go, you know what, mom and dad really loved each other. Yeah, yeah. i tell my little boy, too, that, dude, you'd be lucky to ever find someone like I found, dude. Yeah. You'd be lucky. Like, we can, it's, I, I think there's nothing wrong to bitch about shit. Like, we, me and you bitching about something and they complain to their friends about shit that we do, whatever. You know, I think it's, I think it's healthy. It's healthy, to get, dude. To get that it shit is. out of there. But, I mean... Honestly, I fucking, my wife, dude, fucking every single day, still to this day, gets up, makes me breakfast, makes my lunch, um, fucking rubs my feet every night. Like she every should. single she's a, fucking, she's a woman. So right. She I, should. No, you're hundred percent right. Yeah. That's part of her job. If I always say, if you're not doing that, you're not doing the minimum. Yeah. That's the minimum. Uh, <laughs> But I'm fucking, I could bitch, but you know what? I fucking got an awesome fucking lady, and uh, I hope that covers the bad. That <laughs> <laughs> nah, same here, man. Uh, I think about it because whenever I get to the extremes, so if I'm getting to these extremes of thinking, then I know she's been there already probably twice yeah. before I got Back there. and forth. But I think about it, and I'm like, fuck it. All right, if we're going to take this bitch to the end of the road, I'm going to have to sell the house. I'm gonna have to get an apartment or fucking buy something something else. Fuck up the kids' lives, the dogs getting used to a new place, all that shit. I this stuff goes through my head about that kind of shit. Yeah. Man. Having been there and done it, you know, uh I've been there a couple times, bro, where after a lady's left my life, I got nothing. <laughs> I'm serious. I got a TV. That's it. <laughs> Everything else I'm like, fuck. Cause I get to the point too where I was like, fuck, I don't want none of this shit. You can have it all, cause if I'm gonna start over, I'm gonna start over. You're a completely. guy too. You're a minimalist. You yeah. don't need a whole lot of shit. Fuck, bro. Okay, so the last couple weekends, the group, kids have been gone, and my old lady's been doing something with her friends, right? And then that's what she'll say. We never do nothing together. And I'm like, well, you made plans with your friend Carla to do this. You made plans with your friend Robbie to do this. What am I gonna tell you? You can't do shit with your friends. Mm -hmm. But I don't get butt hurt and say, oh, she's not spending any time with me. No, I'm like fucking cool. I got a free night to myself. <laughs> All I got to do is open a can of chili beans, throw some cheese on it. Fucking that's dinner. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I ate Spam the other night. I, fucking, I love Spam, I dude. cooked up a whole fucking can of Spam. Fucking Sliced fried it, it up, oh, fried it. Man. Fucking, oh, I love Spam. Put Velveeta over it. Had the hamburger buns. I mix with, it in with eggs. Oh, fucking dude. Salty. I'll crush it. But see, for me... The, that's what I would go and buy for... I've been single before. I lived a single life by myself, my own house, you know, no kids, all that shit, all by myself. And I just buy, I buy the minimal shit. Mm -hmm. I don't need fucking scented toilet paper or fucking... Uh, oh, I remember staying with my dad. Like, my dad had nothing. He had peanut butter and honey yeah. and some toilet paper. Like, he had shit, dude. My yeah. dad had shit. My dad got divorced twice. The first time, he lost most of everything. The second time, he got married. Then he got divorced pretty quick. Um, and literally, he had to sneak into his house to try to get whatever clothes he had left after the second divorce. So he couldn't even get in. Fuck, she locked his ass out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he left with maybe the clothes on his back, dude, after it's all said and done. But whatever, you know. No, I think uh, when you bottom line marriage, man, it's just an agreement. And all it is really is a piece of paper saying that you're going to be fucking loyal and uh, build a life with this person, right? Mm-hmm. But that piece of paper can be broken. It's not fucking something that's eternal, dude. Like if you sell your soul to the devil, you can only do that once. <laughs> right? Crossroads. You know. So do you think... I don't want to invite that into this room. <laughs> <laughs> you think uh, like guys like Eric's got it figured out or two guys get together and they have the same fucking agenda? Well, I've thought about it, dude. I think gay guys do kind of have it figured out. Because if you... Especially like if you're both Raider fans, right? Mm-hmm. Fucking, that takes up a good part of the year, football-wise, Sunday morning, you know what you're doing together, each other, you know, and you're together. You just decide, hey, are we going to this bar? Are we going to go here? Are we going to go to this guy's house or whatever? Right, right, right. There, there's one downside to all that. Yeah, dude. getting dick in the ass. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, women are beautiful. Like, women are, like, 
like if I was a woman, I would be with another woman. I wouldn't be with a guy. Guys are gross and fucking disgusting, dude. I don't see dude, nothing. Dude, but that's because you're heterosexual. I, I, side maybe, male, dude. dude. But I'm just saying that women are beautiful. So because women like looking at guys' asses and looking at guys' jawline and their fucking. I don't tosses. think so, dude. Oh yeah, dude. I think they like looking at other women. Why do you think they got playgirls? And why do you think they got? They, fucking... they don't buy no fucking playgirls, dude. dude. Just because your old lady doesn't doesn't mean others <laughs> don't. Man. Or I can't find them, huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> She's got a kid, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she just has images of me. You, you know, pull out something that looks like this. It's purple underneath <laughs> your bed. You know, it's not a <laughs> <laughs> Back massager. Yeah. Who's been fucking eating from my bowl of porridge? <laughs> <laughs> How could, what are these D batteries for? <laughs> They're all over. They're all dead. Yeah. Fucking where? Where do we keep using D batteries at? <laughs> <laughs> That's scary, dude. You got D batteries in your life. I guess, <laughs> dude. <laughs> uh, I think about it, man. I'm like, well, where do we fucking use D batteries? The remote controls take triple A's, you know, or double A's and shit. I'm like, where's the D batteries? Uh, at? no. But hey, bottom line with women, man, everybody has these fucking issues with them and shit, dude. And if you want fucking. Throw us some story ideas and shit, man, because it'll help make us better men, uh, better partners, you know what I mean? <laughs> better life partners. Yeah, better life partners. But <laughs> There is a point, though, man. There's a boiling point where you got to decide if you're going to fucking fight this argument about fucking what's on TV or how she's driving or... Something, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's stupid. Whatever Most, it is. 99.9% of the time, it's stupid shit, dude. It's yeah. stupid shit. It's just that you're with somebody so much, dude. You're going to get irritated with them, right? At yeah. some point, you're going to get irritated with them. Stuff they're going to do irritates you. And uh, then you got to fucking come to terms with like, okay, am I going to make a big deal about this or am I just going to move the fuck on because I'm tired or life's too short or whatever it is. Well, I'll give you a couple good examples, right? Like, um... My neighbor over here, they've been married 47 years, dude. Mm-hmm. 47 years. And there's a part of me that's really envious of that, that they've fucking done that and they made this life together and shit. But they, it's not fucking sunshine and rainbows and all that kind of shit. They've no. had their thunder and lightning and all. And there's a, there's a point, and I think the older people, like my mom and dad, Cliff and Marilyn, they've been together forever too, but I've seen it personally happen like when the kids were there. We encompassed their life. Oh, big time, dude. You right. Know, yeah. We had games. We had school shit. All this and that. You bit to each other about the kids. and Yeah. So the kids fill up your commonality. day. Commonality. Yeah. Your kids fill up your day. So then as we moved out, my mom and dad were just them two living together at the house. And they both still had work. You know, they were going to work and that filled up part of their day together. Right. And then the relationship started straining more. Because now they don't have the kids every day in there to fuck shit up or right. fill, fill in conversation. But then after uh, my dad retired and then my mom retired, now they're home every fucking day. There's no day of the week when you're retired. Every day Saturday. Right. You know, so, yeah, you can keep, you can do this and that or you can travel or do this and that. But if you don't have some common everyday interest together, you fucking fight. That's mm-hmm. what you do. You fight. And it sucks hearing that my mom's side is shit because I love my mom, you know, and hearing what she's got going. Then I hear my dad's side is shit because I love my dad and I know what he's going. But mm-hmm. I see these two people that don't really like each other anymore, but they're they're still together just to be together. You know what I mean? Right. Because you get to probably a certain age where you're old and you don't want to be alone and you're like, I can't go out there and fucking interact with people anymore, you know? Yeah. You know, you're... You're getting where your friends are dying off, too. You're getting older like that, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know. You want to have a companionship, someone to get old with, too. It does, and I think I think one of the fears that my wife has is that um, as I get older, I continue to get fucking sexier, man, oh, you know? dude. This I is mean, incredible. Yeah, I agree. A, you're a man. You're a fucking Adonis. I mean, look at me. <laughs> I heard, dude, this Hold is... Hold on, three seconds. Oh, my bad. All right. <laughs> I, I was... I, I We were with somebody that we mutually know, and um, we were drinking with all these people, friends of ours, and their their wife started kind of crying to us, like, oh, my gosh. I'm like, he's getting so much better looking, and I'm getting so old. And I was like, oh, my gosh, this is a real conversation I'm having. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you who it was later. But, uh... Um, yeah, 
Afraid she's getting better looking. No, man, but <laughs> but sincerely, that, and you think about it, uh, it's easier for an older man to go get a younger woman, right? Yeah. Women typically do not want to do that. They don't want to be a, a cougar mm-hmm. and start a relationship with a 20-year-old dude. Because they know they've got at least 20 years of fucking maturing <laughs> to get to where they are right then. You know what I mean? Where a guy, an older guy is like that and he goes after a younger girl because he's just purely sex, fun, drugs, rock and roll, that mm-hmm. kind of shit, you know? But as women mature and they get older, so do their emotional needs and responses and shit. And they don't want some young kid that's fucking blowing up Kanye or fucking uh, Jay-Z and, you know, doing that kind of shit when they're into fucking Paul Simon. You know what I mean? I don't know. Man. Some do. You watch that show Giggle, uh, Gigolos? Oh, well, there are exceptions, man. Yeah. I mean, there are women that just want cock. I mean, you got to think about older, like, sugar mamas. <laughs> There's sugar mamas out there, dude, but I'm, I'm just speaking generally. I, I believe that uh, women think... Women think more of older men than uh, younger women think more of older men. Like he can provide this or he can give me that or they get something out of it. Right. Mm-hmm. Where younger dude isn't into fucking banging older chicks like that. Why well, I want to bang some old chick when I could be banging some young chick my own age. Right. right. Unless you're a fucking freak. Yeah. I mean, I've been single, <laughs> single pretty, no, pretty much. And I, uh, let's see. I, so I was, uh, I was 30. And this lady was 48. That's 18. That's an 18 year difference. And you know what? It was cool a couple times. This and that. It was cool. But we couldn't talk, man. She didn't even fucking know who Prince was, dude. Huh? We're talking about music and shit. Yeah. No, uh, everybody knows who Prince is. No, she didn't, dude. Nope. She wasn't into that. There's a, that's another thing, man. Like, uh, I talked to DG about it yesterday. So I've never been a fucking heavy metal guy Mm -hmm. or a fucking hip hop, R&B rap kind of guy or, What, what's uh, your genre? That's it. Everything, man. I mean, I like a little bit of everything. Okay. Like, you go through my old CD collection, you'll find, like, fucking uh, Too Short. You'll find Sublime. Depeche Mode. Fucking Depeche. Yeah, Depeche Mode. Fucking uh, Misfits. Uh, Alabama. Okay. Uh, Tracy Chapman. <laughs> Every time I hear that, I think of Flory, dude. What, Tracy Chapman? Uh-huh. You got a fast car. car. No, no, it goes, but it's going to fall. You got first I don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, uh, so as we get older, I think it's it's harder on our ladies because they're at the age where they start saying, "Oh, I'm starting to get fat. I'm starting to get wrinkles. You know, this and that. I got to mm-hmm. dye my hair or whatever they get into." Whereas we get older, I'm waiting for gray hair, man. You guys always talk shit and say that I'm dying my hair and stuff. I don't, man. I don't fucking die. You can see I'm getting gray up in here. You dyed your beard. I did. I did do that last year, but it was like a three day dye job or whatever. <laughs> I was fucking around with the kids. Uh, we're we're doing face masks. Uh-huh. You know, uh, cause I still do shit with my girls, fun shit like that. Look at a little mud face mask is like a dollar fifty, right? But it's a good half an hour or an hour of fucking around with the kids, doing some shit. So I used to let them fucking paint my nails, paint my toes. You know. Uh, Okay. They want to dye my beard or whatever. I'm like, yeah, let's fucking do it. You know, I'm not, I don't care. I don't comb my hair. I'm not really into looking pretty. That's not, not my thing. You know what I mean? So I don't, I don't think about that shit too much, but I think it does weigh on women's minds though, dude. Right. Cause women are more vain kind of. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they get a lot of Botox and plastic surgery done. Cause yeah. it's important to them, you know, but to me, it's not like I told her, I said, Hey baby, you know, I've, I've decided already in the life to make you my wife. I mean, my partner for life. But That's guys the, do it a different way, though, too. They don't do it maybe physically, but they do it like... You see the guys who buy a fucking sports car at 50, 60 years old. You know what I mean? Yeah, they I'm, do it, I'm there right now. That's they, where I want They do it a different way. Guys do it a different way. They still want to be fucking wanted in a different way. It's the same It's the same concept, just different uh, avenues that they go, we go about it. You know, they we do different things, you know? We get tattoos they fucking buy nice cars they yeah. you know we do different things dude it's the same it's the same shit dude it's the same shit it's just uh, everybody does it different way well like uh i was talking to dg about this man fucking so i rolled into walmart a couple of weeks ago we we're gonna go fishing out on the boat and uh, i didn't have any too much boat gear you know to go like lures and fucking broken backs and all that kind of shit but you know as well as i do when we were kids you walk into walmart 
and you'd have like five bucks, ten bucks or something. So you have really have to be frugal as to what you got to get some sliding sinkers, some mm-hmm. hooks, or you know, whatever. Well, I started looking at shit, and the uh, lure's like three bucks. Uh, broken back was like five bucks, and before I know it, because my wife was off doing her thing, I had this cart, dude, and I must I spent three hundred thirty bucks. Fuck. Yeah, but there was a po- point. There was a part of me like I can fu- I can fucking do this, you know. Mm-hmm. Like I'm, I have the money. I'm able to do this. I'm a grown man. Like nothing, nothing is stopping me. I'm gonna get whatever the fuck I want to get, you know. Okay. So I just started buying all kinds of fucking shit, dude. And I think it was some type of a release. Maybe, maybe it's an, an emotional void I had or something. But it felt fucking good. Oh, like, taking you know? care of yourself, like you're doing something for yourself. Exactly, man. No, I hear you. I hear you. I yeah. fucking went saturday and i just went to fucking took dj to get something to eat we went to breakfast and then i went to walmart and bought me some new socks and some sweatpants and some work boots or some shit dude yeah i just bought a few things you know just so i could fucking i don't know because i never buy myself nothing no i i get on kicks of shit like uh socks man i, I got a pair of socks guys isn't there dude. nothing feel good as a fucking fresh pair of socks dude, on the your best fucking feet dude the best dude i put some fresh new ones on this morning dude Dude, so I got a, a pair. Uh, the kids bought me. It was fucking uh, some skateboarding, uh, old skateboarder. He has a stock, uh, sock line or something like that. And uh, they're called Stance. Mm-hmm. You ever had Stance socks? Mm-mm. Well, they got fucking like a, a padding on the bottom of the foot. Mm-hmm. So they're held comfortable. Like without a shoe or anything, the socks are comfortable. And we have fucking tile floors and shit. So I wear socks all the time. Well, when I went to go buy these socks, they're like fucking ten, fifteen dollars a pair, depending on the design or whatever. But I was like, "Fuck it, that's what I'm gonna do from now on." Instead of buying a pack of socks, you know, and trying to match match them or find this one to match that, this that, you buy these kind of socks. That's the pair that goes together. So I probably I don't know have fifteen, twenty pairs of these stance socks now, but that's what I that's what I buy now, and that's what makes me feel good is having these fucking socks. And people may not think about it, but socks. Fuck you having a fucking dude. War- like f- new work boots and new socks going to work it feels good huh dude your you feet gotta, well you know like when you're a kid old. you get fucking brand new shoes you put them on you'd be running around like fucking look how much faster look how I can jump <laughs> look how much higher I could jump you know it's the same way with work dude like you wake up tomorrow you go you got your new boots your new socks on you go to work tomorrow and you're gonna fucking have a little pep in your step dude <laughs> you know it's true. I guess. I think we get that shit out of that, but women get it out in an emotional way. They don't necessarily need the material shit. They'll get it emotionally. They get that fucking uplift, you know? Okay. It could be something easy as fucking holding hands, man. Yeah. You're probably right. You still hold hands with Sarah? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. We're driving sometimes, yeah. yeah. Nothing wrong with that. I remember when I was a kid and I see my parents do I used to laugh at them. These old motherfuckers, man. Fucking grandparents are sitting there fucking holding hands. But I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know. I seen the twinkle in mama's eyes yesterday. We took the grandbaby over to the pumpkin patch. Mm-hmm. They got the slide and the little, you know, the little kid rides and all that kind of shit. Is that but the one right over here? Yeah, right off Twin Cities. Yeah, yeah. It is fucking cool, man. Uh, I got to see her twinkle in her eyes. Fucking, she's missing. She gets the baby blues every now and then. Oh, having a baby? Yeah. Yeah, I think all women do that, dude. Yeah. All women get that. The, the fucking cool thing about... So Veda's too, you know, she she's just talking. She's getting not complete sentence and shit, but she'll be like, Papa, candy. Mm-hmm. Papa, soda, I'm thirsty, you know, whatever, you know, that kind of shit. So my daughter's with me and her her man and uh, kicking it. Get the baby a whole thing of cotton candy, dude. And she never had cotton candy before, so she grabbed it and it's, she's like very, you know, trying to bite it and shit. I take a big piece and I just fucking put it in there. And it, you know, it dissolves like... Mm-hmm. Her eyes lit up like holy shit! I didn't know I could eat that much. Pure sugar too. Yeah, dude. So she fucking I don't know. Fifteen minutes, that whole fucking cotton candy thing's down. It's gone. She's washing it down with soda and shit. And I'm thinking to myself, she's gonna be so fucking jacked, jacked up. Uh-huh. Yeah, and she was sugar high, running around fucking. Hey, that next phase I'm looking forward to too. As far oh, as dude. being a grandparent, I'm, yeah. I'm. That's that's the thing. I think you have to have some stuff to look forward to too in your life. Like, yeah. okay, this is my next phase. Like this next year, I'm looking forward to this, or this next year. I think you have to have, and then together, I think you guys have to have some of that together. Like, okay, you know what? 
maybe in a year or two, we're going to maybe move and we're going to buy this house in this area or we're going to fucking, you know, our kid's going to go do this or whatever it is, you know, like my daughter's going to start basketball pretty soon. So we're going to be traveling, and going to games and stuff together, doing that shit. I think you got to have, you know, that 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 kind of same activities together that you look forward to together. That's what kind of keeps it fresh, too. You yeah, know? it helps, man. Yeah. Hundred percent. No uh, Christmas, Christmas holidays. You know when you're having Christmas, so you get together, you put up the Christmas tree. Uh, I think all that stuff, you know, kind of brings uh, your family together a little bit. Well, you know, GG was telling me there's a place they go up to for five bucks. You get the fucking permit to go cut a tree. Down Is it Apple it. Hill? Uh, I'm not quite sure where you're saying it was at, mm-hmm. but dude, we should do that. We should fell it up and fucking cut. We'll cut a tree. Everybody go cut a tree down. Check it you out. You know what man. I do, dude? Every year I go down the street to the fucking. There's a fucking tree place right yeah. on the fucking Jefferson. We just get a tree and fucking go decorate and shit. But and we always try to do it and get my daughter to come home that weekend. We we do try to do it together still. Yeah. You know. So I don't know. The, the Thanksgiving, like we'll have things. That's what we do the weekend after Thanksgiving. So we, we do the trip. Thursday. We do like I'll go with my grand. This year my dad's gonna do it. My dad, my dad's been planning it for like a year now, right? Because the first time my dad's gonna have it at my grandma's house, and he's like, "Fucking okay." So I've been looking for uh, well, hams. Well, out in Harold? No, no, no. Out. In, uh, they moved to Stockton. My grandma. They're retired. My grandfather passed away. My grandma. They live. In, he, my dad lives with my grandma. Now. So he's been like, oh, I've been looking for hams for like the last three months. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Even the guy was like, you're a little early, aren't you? But uh, that Thursday, we usually do the little family thing. And then Saturday, I always, I, for the last few years, I've had it in my house with uh, my like all my cousins and people that I don't see. Yeah. We've been doing that every Saturday. We have it this year, too. We're doing it this year, too. So, I don't know. That seems... No, that's what... Fun. Mama, man, she's a nester, man. You seen it last week, dude. Fucking, we came in to do the show. We come out, and all of a sudden, it's fucking Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, I yeah, mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She blows it up like that. I mean, that's her thing. She likes to do it, and I look forward to it. And she used to say, used to say oh, you know, the kids really like this. <laughs> well, the kids are 13 and 15 now. They don't give a fuck about that shit, but she still loves doing it. Yeah. Love it, man. So we got to figure it out, huh? I guess so. I don't know. We could probably get in trouble for some of the shit we said, but, you know. I think it was calm. We'll have to reach out again. I mean, get on that stuff again, man, because I think it is, uh, and I think everybody does it. They may not. Because I don't talk to you and say, hey, this is what me and DG were talking about. Or, hey, I was talking to Flo and this is what we were talking about. Oh, no, no, no. We don't, we don't do, we don't uh, have that drama between friends like that about shit. But one thing that does come up in my mind, too, uh, that women tend to do more than men do is um, she'll bring up something that happened 12 years ago. Like, uh, let me say, what is it called? What's a, the sexy stuff that women wear? Lingerie. Like lingerie. Lingerie, yeah. So I got her some lingerie and stuff, and uh, to me, the lingerie is cool. Check it out, play with it, have a little good time, and then just get to business, you know? It's just in the way after you already get started, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's, I mean, it's kind of costumey or whatever, but I made a comment like, why are, you, why are you putting that on? Let's get down, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so now every time that kind of stuff comes up, she's like, well, you hate lingerie. I'm like, no, I don't. And especially now that I'm getting older, fucking, I might be into the fucking dressing up like a doctor or a fucking construction worker, <laughs> you know, doing some of that kind of shit, you know? I mean, you got to keep it fresh. Um, right? Excuse me, ma'am. Is your air conditioning yeah, working? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm here to check your orifices. <laughs> all three of them. <laughs> but she'll bring something up like that, you know, that's fucking, it's obviously in her mind because she she's it's right on her tongue when the conversation arises or when you start to have the triggered event that's going to cause a, an argument she'll bring it up so then i start thinking to myself i don't really have anything i look back on or fucking put it on her from like 10 years ago or something like that you know what i mean did you deal with it right away i think we we get over it and, and put it in you know oh i get super pissed and then with about three minutes i'm, I'm done i moved on Dude, I don't, I don't fucking linger. My anger don't linger really like that, dude. I get so fucking mad, and then I just say, hey, you know what? I'm sorry about that. Well, you know, I was taught a long time ago, man, going through some Al-Anon classes for my dad when I was a kid, and then some of the same classes when I went to rehab as an adult. But uh, you need to release that shit, whether it's crying. Crying is a real good way to release anger or disdain, that kind of shit. But another one is just fucking, ah! <laughs> I mean, you're phys- physically... Just letting shit out, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're, you're like really letting it out. 
mm-hmm. get rid of it. And I try to do that shit, man. Fucking let shit out, dude. I don't want to go to bed at night and fucking pissed off, you know, mm-hmm. mad. I would rather have it settled before I go to bed. Right, right. right. Even if I'm going to take the L on it and fucking have to eat crow or fucking. Yeah, it. for the most part, that's how I look at it, too. I'll take the L on it. I'd yeah. Like, fuck it. Fuck it. I'm sorry. Whatever. I got to move on. Yeah. You know, well, life's hey, too man. short. We already wasted the fucking, today's fucked up. Yeah. We've been arguing all day today. We're fucked. It's fucked up and shit. Come here. I love you. Let's hug it out. Mm-hmm. You know, if you want to suck my dick, it's cool. <laughs> you know, <laughs> something like that. You know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but sincerely, man. Because what E-Rock does? <laughs> Give me a dick. Dude, see, so here's the thing I don't understand about that, man. Like, I mean, because I'm really uninformed about this. I really don't know, dude. But how do you decide when you're a gay guy, like, who's getting into the butt well, this time? top or bottom. That's what there's. You, are you a top or bottom? I think it, that isn't that, like, you kind of figured that out when you're together? Like, I'm a bottom, you're a top. Yeah, but what does that mean? You start out that way, or does just one guy... I don't always... fucking know, dude. No. <laughs> I never took no dick in the ass, dude. <laughs> you ask me, well, then you're all, well, then how do you... I was like, I don't fucking know, bro. Well, dude, I mean, is the guy on the bottom always the bottom? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. I don't know, dude. And then, like... <laughs> it's just confusing to me, man. <laughs> Are you... I don't know. Well, maybe we'll talk about that next time. We'll do some research. I don't know, man, but I I do know this. Like, I mean, you've been with your lady a billion thousand times. I've been with my lady a billion thousand times, dude. Uh, there's kind of a rhyme or a reason or like a little, uh, I don't want to say, the, the you know, your foreplay or whatever, or you decide I'm going to be on top this time or you're going to fucking be dog style or whatever. You never have like a game. I don't have a game plan when we go to do it. You know what I mean? Okay. And Playing off the cuff. Yeah, just go, uh, like, I mean, like, I've talked to my dad, and I know it's gross because it's my mom, but I've talked to my dad about this kind of stuff, man. And there's there's shit that they've been married 40 years. He's never even tried. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't imagine talking dude. to my dad about that, dude. I could not even imagine. Well, dude, we were fucking sh- – <laughs> okay, first of all, we were camping. And I was telling DG about this. Right at Bear Valley, there's those uh, con- condos up there. Okay. They're three-story condos. They right. sleep like 12 people. I think we ought to rent it and take the fucking kids, man. Take the boys and shit and go up there for four, three, four days just to have a man trip, you know? Oh, yeah, that'd like, be cool. Like I did with my dad, you know, we'll take our boys and all that shit. But uh, so we were up there. We are fucking shrooming, first of all. You know, we're, my dad, my uncle, and my buddy Dan were all shrooming. Okay. And so uh, you talk about the fucking, all the guards are down, you know what I mean? So <laughs> my dad's talking about getting laid and shit, and I'm just like rolling with it like it's nothing, you know? I don't know if you're thinking about my mom, but. He's fucking talking to me about shit. And then after a while, I started, oh, fuck, well, this is my mom, you know, <laughs> fucking, oh, shit. I was like, Dan, you need to come talk to <laughs> you need to talk to my dad about this shit. So I don't, but, I mean, everybody goes through that, man. And uh, no, that's, I, that's funny shit, dude. Uh, 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 fucking uh, guy working out for, uh, you, you know these guys. But, uh his son started working with us, right? He's tw- he was 21, 19, 21, whatever, 20. And so we, we talk about that shit all the time. Like, like hey, I was like, uh, Darren, I said, do you know uh, that uh, right before you kiss your mom goodbye to school, your dad would be, your mom would be sucking your dad's dick, right? Or just shit like that. Or my fr- this, this would be like, you know, uh, you know your, uh, uh, your mom's a squirter, right? <laughs> he would say that shit to his son all the time, dude. We would fucking say so much. It was so he got to where it was just normal. Like he's like, that's gross, whatever. He's like, he's like, Dad, what are you gonna do tonight? What are you guys doing this weekend? Or he's like, oh, I'm probably gonna home pound your mom for a little yeah. while. Like yeah. he fucking jokes with him like that. No, I, I do it still to my boy too. Do you? Yeah, hell yeah. Like you know, that's cool. You can kiss your mom goodbye, give her a hug. She sucked my dick. <laughs> she had my balls in her mouth. <laughs> that's <laughs> that funny shit, shit. Dude, dude. It's funny because. It hurts them. <laughs> <laughs> You're purposely doing that to your kids. Well, fuck, man. We crushed out an hour pretty quick, dude. I didn't have a heart attack this week. I had a heart attack last week. Oh, dude. you were sick, dude. You Medic- had a hangover. Medically confirmed heart attack, dude. All right. I think I died off set for like a two minutes and came back. Yeah. I have my dick in your mouth. Yeah. It was tough. <laughs> it was tough. It's a really, really nice dick. <laughs> All right, all right, man. Well, shit. We got few we didn't get to right there, man. That's all right. We did bullshit session today, huh? 
Yeah, it's good. It's good to get those out, man. Fucking talk some shit. Hopefully my wife don't watch this one. <laughs> but everybody knows, hey, you guys got brothers in life right here. Fucking, you got a woman. We know what you're going through. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get the fucking rollout music, dude. Everything said just represented by Kevin Frazier and Kevin Frazier alone. Remember the uh, <laughs> weather was brought to you today by Ace Hardware. Ace is a place with the Ace and Hardware. <laughs> That's good, man.